Hello, Let's Play fans! Welcome back to my LP of Breath of Fire 3! Since the last episode, I checked out my fairy village. I, I got a couple new fairies, uh, got some land starting to clear out. Culture went up to level 4. Nothing exciting yet. I wish the damn thing would grow faster. Ugh! But also, since the last episode, I rested up at camp. Uh, and I switched around my skills here. Let's check them out. Yeah, I gave Ryu all the elemental strikes that I had. I kept him with charm and steel, just for the hell of it. I also gave Last Resort to Gar, because why not? And Momo here, I gave her Frost and Influence. Also took off all those other crap things that she had. I gave Shadow Walk to Ray, and also things like Intimidate, Air Raid, and all that, since those cancel out movements or make you invulnerable for one turn, like Resist does. I gave those to him, since he's pretty much the fastest, and they'd do better on him anyways. Alright. We're going to enter Mount Zublo, because in the last episode, we freed Dace from her pyramid prison. And her naked ass flew over here to Mount Zublo, told us to meet her here. Because after we took out Geist, she was free. And hopefully I won't have any more screwed up fights like with Geist, where his sprite was all messed up. I think this is the place Dace meant. Oh my god, the wall ain't right, you. Ooh, I like that particleized effect there. It's probably not gonna show up, though. Like, <laughs> my recorder doesn't seem to catch little things like that. There you are, my little dragon. Doll, she has clothes on now. Don't be frightened. This is what I really look like. Were you expecting me to show up naked again? Well, of course. I've been in that prison prison for how long? It's like, I want to see some booty! And that form? The one I was imprisoned in. I'm not able to fully use, utilize my powers, see? Now, you might want to be a jackass and say that's too bad, but if you do that, you're going to screw yourself out of her being a master later on, and she has some of the best spells in the game, and some pretty good stat gains. I mean, she's a pretty harsh master, but uh, is definitely worth it for what she teaches. So if you say this, you're not going to get her as a master. So be a gentleman and say, I like you this way. Well, thanks. You certainly know what to say to a lady, don't you? Of course, right, you smooth. He's a pimp. So, now that you're all here, is this, is this where we'll meet God? No, silly. I'm going to tell you how you can get there from here. Before I was imprisoned, I would have been able to take you there myself. But I don't have enough strength to do that, uh, left to do that now. Alright, my little Ryu. I'm going to open your eye, so you'll be able to see the way yourself. Alright. Uh oh, what are you doing, Dace? It might hurt a little. But you'll just have to grin and bear it. Uh, okay. Oh, God, big lightning bolt! Yeah, he hit me with uh, Mjolnir. That's not going to hurt at all. Oh, what's this? That Ryu is called Prana, the Eye of God. If you follow that light, you'll find the God who used the Guardians to destroy your people. North? Far, far away to the north. Across the sea. Well, that's just dandy. How you get there is up to you. I can't do it for you. This is all I can do now. It's up to you now, Ryu. Good luck. I'm out this piece. Gar, I want you to look out for him. Make sure nothing happens to him, understand? I swear by the lives of all the brood I stole, he will not come to harm while I draw breath. Can't you just say, okay? Is that hard to do, Gar? Woo! Must be getting old if something like this knocks the wind out of me. You must be feeling your age as well. Sister. Dun dun dun! Ryu, Gar! Hey, it's Nina. Either that or Momo got really hot all of a sudden. First, Ryu. Then you, Gar, just disappeared like that. I was so frightened. 
What happened? Did you see dice? Did you meet God? Stop asking me questions. God is very far away. Across the sea. Looks like we'll be needing a boat. Duh, I think so. Alrighty, what we want to do is head over... I don't think you have to head over to Rapala, but I'm going to do that anyways. Because we got a nifty little thing we got to take care of. Yeah, I know Nina needs her level so she can fin finish up with the Drassel. But once she's done, like I said, I'm going to sign go over here and sign her up to Gyoto. Because, as you see... She really needs the HP. I mean, 66, if I take her anywhere, she's going to get her ass handed to her. So I want to take care of that little HP problem we've got going on there. Alright. Into Rapala, if I can move my controller in there. Ah, there we go. And like I said, you don't have to come here, but I'm going to come here anyway because I'm thinking this is what the game expects you to do. And it's annoying! Of course, the whole Rapala place is annoying anyways. Hey, it's Shadis. It's Ryu, isn't it? How are you? We haven't seen you for a long time. Yeah, I've been kind of emo. Bade? He went to Junktown to get our ship back. Or, back our ship. I'm sure he'll be coming back soon, so if you don't mind waiting... I mind immensely waiting. And she's not taking care of her kid there. And we have to sit here and watch the whole sequence. Yeah, see, even Gar's getting annoyed by this. I'm sorry. I don't have much to do with guild business anymore. You'll have to wait until he comes back. Screw that, I ain't waiting for Jack. You got any money, Zig? Oh, you cheapskate. Alright, continuing onward! Alright, now we need to head back through Mount Zublo towards Junktown, because that's where Shadis said Bade was going to be. Figured that much anyway, since we saw the boat over there earlier. Let's go through Mount Zublo. Eh, <laughs> eh, can't walk around. Oh, I have to go through Mount Zublo. I don't know why they make you do that. Why can't you just walk through it? That is a pain in the arse. Alright. Head up this way. <laughs> I'm really disappointed. I need to label my uh, keyboard keys here. I was almost done with this uh, recording the first time through. And I got to a place where I was going to use a save state. And my luck, I <laughs> accidentally hit the load state button and screwed myself over. Isn't that just great? Ah, it's the good feelings of being an lp -er. They make me cry on the inside. Alright, now that we're in Junk Town, let's see if we can find Bade. Hey, there he is. That didn't take long. My name is Bade, Rapala Guildmaster. I've come to get our boat back. What? Yes, of course. Good to see you again. The dock is to the west. Go on in. Yeah, if you came here earlier, this... Uh, red vested douchebag over here will be blocking the way, but now that uh, bait opened the way, we can continue onward. Alright, before we head down there where the boat is, let's head over this way first of all. There's a couple fishing spots here that have some rare fish. I might come back here later and uh, check them out. I've been slacking on my uh, fishing in this game. I know I have been. But over here in this fishing spot, Tide pool formed by the outer sea and the middle sea. And there's lots and lots of fish here. Pretty much any type of fish uh, that is hard to find is here. I mean, look at that. And there's also Manila here. Now, he has a weapon called the uh, Devil Slayer, I think it is. Now, that's a pretty good weapon for uh, Ryu. You need uh, two black bass and one spearfish to get it. Now, you can get the spearfish here. But I don't believe I have the lure that I need. You need a deep diver. And, yeah, I don't have that. Now, I know you can get a deep diver uh, from somewhere in the game. Some dungeon will have it. Uh, but, yeah, you can also get it there. But you have to catch 
um, like a bunch of different fish to get the deep diver. I might do that off screen. You know, I do a lot of things off screen because it saves us time. That way you don't have to see all the boring crap I go through. Now if you talk to this guy, he says, I'm working on some new fishing gear, but I can't seem to get it quite right. Now if you come back to this guy later on, and you had like 9,000 fishing points, which gets you the fish ranking, if you come back and talk to this guy, I believe he gives you the best rod and the best lure in the game. Now I've never made it to 9,000 because it's really difficult to get there. I always hit a wall somewhere around 8,500 points or something like that. And then I can't seem to get any more than that. If someone has any techniques on how to reach 9,000, I wouldn't mind hearing it, but I'm probably not going to do it in this Let's Play. Now over here behind this curtain, hey, it's a dragon gene. Right here's the voice of the brood sealed in the chrism. It is the question mark gene. And I have no idea what it does. I think it's just one of those for fun genes. I don't think it really does anything. If anybody knows what it does, add... Uh, Go ahead and tell me. Leave a comment in the vi video. Because I don't look up these things myself, and I've never really messed with the genes. Like I said, I only use very few uh, dragon combinations. Alright, before we go on the dock, what we want to do is we want Momo in the party. So let's actually move Nina out. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nina. We'll get you your levels up soon, I swear. Wharf for ships. The Porter's Guild and Machine Guilds do business here. So let's enter! Alright. Hey, Bade's already here. You mean the repairs aren't finished yet? Well, you see, sir. We didn't know you'd be coming so soon, you see. We haven't found the parts we've been needing yet, you see. Stop saying you see! I'm gonna slap that bowl cut off your head. Gah! He said I see. What should I do now? I told everyone I'd be back soon. Sorry, sir. We didn't know it'd be taking so long. To find the parts, you see. That's it, someone's gonna die. Excuse me, sir. Guildmaster, sir. You don't plan on having us be looking for the parts now, do you? I mean, we're sailors, right? My God, what a confident bunch of assholes. How many assholes we got on this ship, anyhow? Go! I knew it. I'm surrounded by assholes. Wait a minute. You're Ryu, aren't you? It's been a while, hasn't it? So good to see all of you again. I'd never forget what you did for me all those years ago. But what are you doing here? Ryu's nodding and shaking his head at him. You need a ship? Well, I'd like to say I can help you with that, but... It looks like the repairs are going to take longer than we thought. You're going to have to wait again. Just like before. I'm sorry. Now this brings up a really, really interesting point. These are port towns, right? They only have one goddamn ship? Are you serious? That is... That is beyond bullshit. I am sorry. You're, you're not a port town if all you have is one goddamn ship. That just does not work like that. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to switch Momo to the front of the party and talk to Bade. Anything I can do to help? That's right. You're an engineer, aren't you, Momo? Yes, she rubs it in our face all the time. She makes sure we never forget. If that's the case, he could give us a hand? This way, please. Yeah, now his speech is all formal. What the hell? This is the engine room. Okay, and this is what needs fixing? Uh, Momo's checking everything out. She's going in it with gusto. <laughs> it's hard finding women like her in real life. Uh, women that like working on machines or fixing cars. It's like, that's a rare breed. And I always see my friends with them. I'm like, where the hell did you find her? <laughs> oh, well. Gotcha! I can fix this, no problem. 
Right, think you can find these parts? You got the memo! Ring de ding de ring de ding de ding de ding Yay, I love that music. Alright, now you don't really have to memorize this memo, but you can't really look at it later on. But yeah, that's the parts that you're gonna need. And it looks like nothing now, but it'll come apparent later. I don't think you'll be able to find all those parts in one place. You'll have to look around, okay? Yeah, lucky for us. You were able to fix the lighthouse. I'm sure you'll be able to fix the ship. Faster than anyone else could as well. If you can find those parts for us, we'll have the ship moving in no time. Ask the guildmen where the best place to look for parts are. <laughs> My god, these people are so incompetent. Now, I really, really hope they haven't been working on this ship for since I was a kid. Then that, that would be really, really sad. You're going to look for parts for us? First the lighthouse, now this. How can we ever thank you? You can start by giving me your money! Ah, oh, you don't have any. Cheapskate. Alright, let's get heading out of here. What? You're going to be looking for the, for the parts? I don't know if that's okay. I mean, that's supposed to be our job and all. You should probably go back to town and talk it over with the guildmaster. <laughs> your job? You guys aren't even doing your damn job. That's the sad part. Alright, once we exit here, we have to change our party around. Yeah, Momo's gonna be out of the party for a while. So, yeah, I'm just gonna stick with Nina. I know Nina needs some new equipment. I might have to shop for some off screen. So let's go to Junk Town. Oh, wait a minute. First things first. I know since we switched party. Oh, sorry an attack. Now see, it's this game's really random about when it will take you out of your form and when it won't. Oh, it's really stupid. But anyways, this is the Machine Guildmaster. You want to talk to him now. You want to look for parts? Nope, no can do. Only guild, mem guild members have permission to do that. But to be honest, I don't care if you do. The more hands, the faster the job will be done anyway. Yeah, especially since we're doing everything, you jackass. Y you should go down to Steel Beach. That's the best place to look for spare parts, see? What's with everyone saying see? I got eyes, damn it! I of course if I I can see. All right. First of all, let me check Nina's equipment. It's been a while since I've had her in the party. Let's see. Oh my God, she has a buckler. Are you serious? Oh, I wish I took some of that equipment off Momo. That would have helped out. And why the hell does she have a bad amulet on? Let's see. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna equip her with the Thunder Ring. Because it'll help out here later on. Alright, over here is Steel Beach. Beach where machine parts wash up. Supply area for Machine Guild. Let's go ahead and check this baby out. Alright, if you came here earlier, this guy would have cock blocked you. But now that we have Guildmaster's permission, I said you can't go in there. You never talked to me in the first place, you ass. This area belongs to the... Huh? You got the master's permission? Oh, okay then. Go on in. Now see, I could've just came here and said, Oh, the guy gave me permission, and he had to let me in. Not very much security, tell you what. But first of all, what you want to do now that you're here is come over here. Hey, look at that. Right here's the voice of the brood sealed in the chrism. It is the mutant gene. Now, this gene doesn't really have any purpose, but it makes you some interesting dragons. I might show them off later on if I have the time, but... Eh, not right now. I got some more important, as important business in hand. Sometimes you run into monsters in here. That's why the guild only allows certain people. Those who've proven themselves inside. Oh, come on, I'm strong and take out some shit. I got the Barbarossa. But what you want to do is take Gar here and talk to this guy. Looking for parts, eh? You can probably find a lot in that freighter. But only the best freighters from the guild are allowed to go in there. 
Still, you look pretty buff. Mind if I see for myself how tough you are? Yeah, if you talked with using Ryu or any other party member, he'd say that he needs someone strong. So that's why you want Gar in your party here. Alright, and with this we get one of the most annoying mini-games in the entire game. We're going to put you to work on salvage. You and I will work together to pull the rope. And drag up the machines on the ocean floor. Let me tell you how it works. When that fellow there raises the white flag, I all pull on the rope. When he drops the flag, I stop. The number there is how much rope's left. When he raises the red flag, you pull, okay? To pull the rope, hit the X button as fast as you can. And then it'll tell you there. And then of course you hit the X button as fast as you can. Remember to pull when the flag goes up. If you're goofing off for not hitting the X button, or if you hit the button when the flag's not up, the rope will break and that's it. And remember to keep eye on how much rope is left. If we get a difference of more than two meters, it'll throw off our balance and the rope will slip. And that's it. And right now he'll demonstrate what will happen if you go over two meters. And you're wondering, oh, that shouldn't be too difficult, but it, it can happen real easily, believe me. And when it turns red right there, that's you're, you're in the danger zone. And yeah, see, that's what will happen if you screw up. Basically, all you have to do is look at how much rope you ha you got and how much I got, and adjust the speed of how often you hit the button, see? Well, that about covers it. Ready? Well, let me first of all make a save state. There we go, that's the save state button. I need to mark that, honestly. And let's do it. The most annoying minigame. Go! If you can do it, you have proven yourself to us. Here we go. Start! Alright, now keep an eye on the, those flags. Alright. Doing good so far. You want to hit it as fast as you can. Because it seems like he, he'll get a lot more turns than you. And that's really bullshit. So that's why you want to get his head as far as you can. Yeah, see, look at that. He'll get like two turns in a row. And you have to try and catch up to him. Alright, doing good so far. Stop doing that, you damn monkey! All right. Oh God damn it! You failed. All right, load state. I don't want to go through all that embarrassment again. Okay, if you can do it, you'll have proven yourself to us. Here we go. Start. Yeah, yeah. I knew I was gonna fail. Cause, this, like I said, this mini game is annoying. You have to keep your eyes transfixed on those damn flags. Don't even pay attention to the meters. Just when he puts the red flag up, just give it all you got. Because it seems like he'll, like I said, he'll get more turns than you, and that's and that's really bullshit. All right, keep going, keep going. All right, and let him catch up there. I always want to try and stay ahead of him, though. Because his turns seem like they last longer, too. Oh, we both get to pull. Alright, get going, get going. I'm not going to fail this time. Alright, come on. I think it's if we get below 5 meters, that's when we will win. Alright, go, 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 go! Yeah, and if you're starting to get into the red and your, your flag's still up, just slow down that you're hitting the X button. Alright, we're almost to blow four. Alright, I think we're gonna make it now. 
Ah, all right, we did it. Second try. Boy, this one's heavy. Don't get it many like this. Can you see what it is yet? That doesn't look like parts. Boss, it don't look like no machine. Wh what is it? Run! Oh, shit. Quite a catch, eh, Gar? <laughs> and with that, it is a random boss battle! Which we'll have to take care of in the next video, so stay tuned for more Breath of Fire 3.